The truth is that if you're not using accessories, you're not getting the most out of your iPad. And either way, the first thing that I get for any iPad is a case because they're not cheap and I'm not super careful. Now this year I was looking for some extra versatility, so I went with this do-it-all case from ESR called the Shift Magnetic Case. It has six modes and nine adjustable angles, so regardless of whether I'm reading, writing, watching a movie, or editing a video, I can always get the perfect angle. And even if I remove it from the protective outer shell, I still have a slim back case that covers the back sides and corners, plus it magnetically snaps to my fridge. Now, if you don't want a case, but you still want to have your iPad at the most convenient angle, check out the second gen 12 South Hover Bar Duo. It's a super unique stand that lets you either use an extremely adjustable stand or a surface clamp so you can always see your iPad. The adjustable arm has a good amount of tension without being too rigid. You can position your iPad in portrait or landscape mode. The arm can rotate around around the base and it's super easy to switch between the base and the surface clamp. If this is more than you need and you just want a very simple solution, get yourself a stand like this one. It's solid, completely adjustable, and it lets you position the iPad at just the right angle. Also, there's a ton of other options available and I'll have links in the description. Next, I always add a gaming controller because I love using my iPads with the Xbox Game Pass app. Now, there are a ton of available options on the market, but if you wanna fully customize the colors on your controller, check out Colorware, which also offers the ability to design other accessories with your choice of colors and logos. Now, there are also triggers and controllers that go right on your iPad and make it more comfortable to hold. This one is all mechanical and has four separate manual triggers. And this one actually has one mechanical trigger and then one powered trigger, which can be used for extremely fast tap fire. Now, if you're gaming at super high graphic settings, your iPad is going to heat up, which can lead to the screen dimming. So that's where this magnetic cooler comes in super handy. It connects to the back of the iPad with a magnetic patch, and then it immediately starts to actively cool your iPad. You do need to have it plugged in, but it doesn't use the port on your iPad, so you can charge your iPad while you're gaming, and I've never had an iPad overheat while using it. Now, moving on to productivity, there are features like Stage Manager, which let you expand the functionality of your iPad. Now, if I want something super compact, I use this USB-C Mobile Pro Hub from Satachi. It gives me a USB-C port for charging, a USB-A port for compatibility with older devices, an HDMI port if I want to use an external display, and a headphone jack so I can use wired headphones or a wired headset for gaming. If you'd rather have a hub that uses a cable, this Ugreen option includes two USB-A ports, a USB-C port, HDMI and network ports, and then SD and micro SD card readers. Now, another interesting option is this stand hub for your iPad. And this props the iPad and with the attached USB-C cable, it gives me an HDMI out, a USB-A port, a USB-C port, a headphone jack, plus SD and micro SD card slots. Now I like the added functionality of being able to use this hub to also prop the iPad and the fact that the cables or accessories are no longer hanging from the side of the iPad. Now if you happen to have an iPad Pro or an iPad Air 5 or 6 and you really want to go all out, check out the Kensington Studio Dock. Now, this is such a cool device. It magnetically attaches to your iPad. It charges your iPad and has wireless charging for your iPhone and AirPods. It has a fast SD card reader, a USB-C port, three USB-A ports, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a gigabit ethernet port. On top of that, the stand is super sturdy and it rotates and tilts so you can always have your iPad at just the right angle. Now next, if you have kids or if you're just not careful with your iPad, just like me, you may want a screen protector. Now this year I got the Amorite screen protector from ESR and this way I don't need to worry about my iPad scratching if I put it in a bag or when I travel. I did make that mistake once and I'm never doing it again. I like the easy application tray that it comes with and that this screen protector exceeds military grade standards. Now this year, Apple increased the base model storage on the iPad Pro and the iPad Air, but in any case, when you're choosing which iPad to get and how much storage you need, you pretty quickly realize that adding storage is definitely not cheap. What I like to do is get as much storage as I need for apps and for local files, and then use an external SSD for everything else. These are very small, they have a ton of space, and for a fraction of the cost, I can add four terabytes or even more than that. Also, at the same time, I can share this storage with a lot of my other devices. Now, the iPad only comes with a single port 20 watt charger, and if you've seen my battery drain test for the iPads, you know that I do not 
not like to worry about running out of battery, which is why I use the next couple of items from Ugreen. With the Ugreen Nexote X65 watt charger, I can charge one device with up to 65 watts from a single USB-C port or split it up and charge three separate devices. It can charge an M2 MacBook Air to over 50% in 30 minutes and also check out how small it is. Now, if I need more than that, I move up to the Nexote X160 watt charger, which uses the same new technology, but now I'm getting up to 140 watts max from a single port, which can get my MacBook Pro to 50% in 27 minutes. And then finally, when I'm on the go, I always have a power bank with me and I want one that has high capacity. It offers fast charging. It can charge multiple devices at once and doesn't take forever to recharge. The Ugreen 145 watt power bank has a 25,000 milliamp hour capacity, which is a ton. It has two USB-C ports, one USB-A port, and I can get up to 100 watts from a single port. It has a digital display so I know exactly how much power is remaining. Unlike power banks with four indicator lights and with bi-directional fast charging, I can actually charge two devices while recharging the power bank itself. Another important accessory is a keyboard case. Now, Apple makes the new Magic Keyboard for iPad Pro, the previous generations of Magic Keyboard, the Magic Keyboard Folio, and the Smart Keyboard. Now, I've said this before, but I don't really like the Smart Keyboard for the older iPads, so I end up using the Slim Folio from Logitech. It's just more sturdy, it protects the iPad, and it has function keys. Now, I like the two previous models of the Magic Keyboard, but the newer one is even better. It has more responsive keys with a better feel to them, a fantastic trackpad, it has a full row of function keys, and it's thinner and lighter. Now, the Magic Keyboard Folio is a great option because I have the same quality keys and trackpad as the previous Magic Keyboard, but I can also separate the keyboard from the back cover for when I just need a stand. And if you're looking for more affordable third-party options, I also got the new ESR Magnetic Keyboard Case 360, which floats the iPad in horizontal or vertical orientations. It has backlit keys with multiple colors, gesture support on the trackpad, and there's a detachable back case so that when I take the iPad off the keyboard, I don't need to worry about it being damaged. Now, if I want the best typing experience, then I'm always going to opt for a mechanical keyboard because I can choose exactly what I want in terms of size, sound, and feel. Now, I've been using Keychron keyboards for a long time now, and this year I've been playing around with the Q4 Pro. So this keyboard is extremely sturdy. It's definitely on the smaller size, so it's great for smaller spaces. It can be paired with up to three devices, so I can quickly quickly switch between my Mac, MacBook, and my iPad. It has hot swappable switches. I'm using the Keychron K Pro Banana, and I absolutely love the sound. And this particular one is the Shell White and has KSA Double Shot PBT keycaps. Now, pretty much anytime I'm gonna use an external keyboard, I'm also gonna use a mouse. And my favorite mouse is the Logitech MX Master 3S. Now, it feels like I've been using this lineup of mice forever now, and the MX Master 3S is super comfortable, has tons of extra buttons, a couple of scrollers, and it really helps me with my productivity. Now, I also like to point out that if you wanna save some money, you can pick up one of the previous generations and it's still gonna be amazing. On the other hand, if you're looking for something smaller, more portable and less expensive, check out the Logitech M350, which is also known as the Pebble. Now, with a lot of these portable accessories, you might be thinking, how am I gonna bring all of them with me and stay organized? So I'm gonna show you how. The TomTok Portfolio case has been one of my absolute favorite iPad accessories for years now. It used to be called the Pad Folio. It's pretty much a two-in-one protective case and tech bag, plus I love how it looks. Now starting out with the iPad compartment, it's separated from the rest of the accessories with a rigid divider that has a velvety soft fabric cover. Now this way, even if you don't have a screen protector or a case, the iPad is completely protected. This compartment is also big enough to fit the iPad with the case that I showed you earlier, and even with a keyboard case. Now next, we flip this divider cover over, and then on the back of the cover, there's a ton of elastic straps for different accessories. So whether you pick the ones that I showed you today or other ones, it's a really versatile option. Now finally, on the inside of the front panel, there's a large compartment that can house some of the larger accessories that I showed you. The hard shell exterior of the portfolio case adds even more protection from drops. It passes a military grade drop test, and it's rated for a five foot drop. So as long as you don't go play playing kickball with it, you should be good. And just in case you spill anything on it, it's wrapped in a water repellent fabric to protect your items, and it uses dual YKK zippers with super nice pulls. Remember that I have links in the description to all the products I talked about. You know what I always say, buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.